Hi guys, this is Ken Rossman, executive producer and studio head at Radical. Uh, I'm excited to take this opportunity. It's our first chance to really engage with you guys and answer your questions. And I just want to say, first and foremost, you guys are the best fans and your guys' enthusiasm for Radical and Prototype are just absolutely awesome. So thank you guys very much. So I'd like to go ahead and start answering some questions that I know the fans are very interested in and uh, we appreciate you guys being so active and, and, and sending questions in. So, question time. So, Fabian Felder would like, uh, asked, will there be many new available skills or did you just take the old ones and put some innovation into them? Well, Fabian, it's a bit of both. Uh, obviously, fan favorites needed to come back. Uh, you guys were really passionate about the things that you really liked about Proto 1, uh, the powers, the, uh, the skills. Um, but at the same time, we knew we had to make them bigger and better and badder. And, and we've done so. I mean, obviously, the tendrils power, which you guys have seen, uh, we've got some new skills, something we're announcing next month at Gamescom. Uh, you guys will see a new skill that's pretty exciting. We're really enthusiastic to share with you guys. Um, so hang tight. Um, let's talk more about those as we go, but know that there is lots of new stuff and there's innovation. So a bit of both. So thanks very much. Next up, Raul Ranger. Uh, hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, it may be similar to the PS2 game Devil May Cry 4. In this story, Neo is the player and Dante is your enemy. What will be the, situ what will be the situation in Prototype 2? Is Alex Mercer an enemy or will he play an important role? Well, Raul, he's actually both. Uh, Alex Mercer is incredibly important to the, to the Prototype universe and uh, he actually fully makes an appearance in Prototype 2. He's actually, he is the villain. Uh, he will be going after you with Spite and you're going to be going after him with Spite. And, uh, it's a battle that will ensue. So Alex is critical. Alex is an important piece. We all heard your feedback. We knew what you guys were excited about Alex. Um, we know there's people that may not necessarily want to uh, kill him, but uh, I encourage you guys to just wait until we say and show you more stuff and uh, let you guys put some hands on it down the road and uh, see what you guys think. So, Joe Ramsey asked a very simple question. Cake or pie? I gotta tell you folks, it's pie. Um, big fan of cheesecake, so cake's kind of out, unless you call cheesecake cake. It's a big debate on that. I'll let you guys decide. Uh, next up, Jordan Silva. Jordan Silva says, what makes Prototype 2 different from other free roam superhero games? Well, Jordan, that's a very good question, and I have the best answer for you. Prototype 2 is about letting you do whatever you want to do. It's a game where we allow you to break rules and be awesome. Uh, not that other superhero games don't let you do that, but really all the player choice and all the power is in the player's hand and we let you guys do whatever you want so so it's different in that it's no rules and it's well i won't say no rules but uh, less rules and, and and breakable rules so with that it's uh it's unique in that way next up trisha Corum says what fan art would you like me to draw for you well trisha i gotta say you guys are absolutely awesome all of you the fan art in the forum in, in the prototype uh page is you guys are Awesome. I, I can't say anything more. You guys, uh, you guys draw some pretty amazing stuff. So Trisha, surprise me. Um, I'll say that uh, I like sangria, but uh, go with it from there. Thanks, Trisha. Next up, Alexandre Flores. Hopefully I've said that correctly. Uh, Dear Sangria Man, uh, compared to Proto 1, how did you reimagine, rebalance the powers in Prototype 2? Alexandra, Alexandre, I'm sorry, I'm slaughtering your name. Um, we've completely reimagined them. Uh, the powers are, uh, in Proto 1, the powers were really just, once you got a new power, you kind of favored it, and you didn't really have motivation to keep going back. <laughs> so team, my, 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 my friends out there in Facebook land, that'll make more sense when we hit 275,000 fans on our Facebook page. So that'll unlock in the black net, uh, 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 sorry, that, that'll unlock in the black net uh, section of, of the Facebook page. So, uh, so hang tight on that. We'll come back to it. So I come back to the uh, reimagining and rebalancing power. So we really, and we'll come back more on this. There's uh, another, uh, another fan out there has a similar question that I'll, I'll touch on this further. But really, we wanted the powers to be something that the players really had a reason to uh, spend time with everything. So, so the powers are rebalanced and reimagined in that they're, they're bigger and badder for sure, uh, but they're also more interesting and their uses are much more interesting. So 
Hang on. So next up, Engatir RLR. Please, I hope I said your name right. Asked, how's a baby made? Well, that, that unfortunately the SRB would stop me from telling you. So, uh, we'll send a link for you maybe. Anyways, thanks for your question. Uh, so this question's come up quite a bit, uh, and uh, so grabbing the question from two of you, uh, Carrie Jane Milano and Joel Hummel both, a both asked, what about the whip fist? Well, I gotta say, what about the whip fist? Uh, whip fist has actually been in a couple screenshots, and uh, it's actually got some new skills, uh, some, new, uh, some new abilities to it, so um, that'll be coming up later in the campaign. You'll see how the whip fist does some new damage, but uh, it's in there, and it's a fan favorite, so it's coming back. Thank you, guys. All right, so Phil Kelly says, how do magnets work? Well guys, I gotta tell you, we reached out to Mr. Wizard, but Mr. Wizard wasn't available. So one of our very own, Dr. David Martindale, who uh, actually was involved in making the IMAX camera system back in the day, uh, is actually gonna come and tell you how magnets work. So hang tight on that one. Phil Kelly asked the question, how do magnets work? I assume he's talking about permanent magnets. Um, all solid stuff is made up of atoms and they have electrons and the electrons have a spin and they produce a magnetic field. In ordinary matter, they're all scrambled up randomly and so they add up to nothing. And, um, and so the d thing isn't magnetic and it doesn't pick stuff up. With uh, something like soft iron, if you put a magnet near the substance, the field of the atoms in the iron line up it becomes magnetic and then you can pick it up with a magnet, but when the magnet goes away, it goes back to being scrambled. Then there are permanent magnets, which once you've magnetized them in the first place, they stay magnetized because the atoms near each other like to stay in the same alignment that they had before, and they'll retain their magnetism indefinitely. Uh, well, I see we need to get back to Ken. If you want to know more about this, just look up magnetism in Wikipedia. It has lots of information. All right, so we're back. Uh, thanks, Dr. Dave, for the amazing answer. One thing you'll find out with Dr. Dave, you ask a question, you get a big answer. So we have one last question for the day for this first round of Ask Questions of the Team. So that last question goes to Tiberio Potenza. Tiberio says, will there be many more things to do beyond the main story? What will you add to the free roaming component? Well, Tiberio, I'm glad you asked. We've actually got a ton of things. We obviously showed you the layers. A few other things that are coming down the pipe that you'll find out more about as we go. You've got the hunting gameplay and you'll see the full extent of that. We have the field ops squads that you'll track down. And we have black boxes, just to name a few. And uh, again, we'll cover off on more of those things as we go down the road. But know that there is a ton of things that will keep you plenty busy in the open world. Thank you guys very much, the best.